Okay, everybody, so this is Lynn, and everybody's been asking me how I make these backgrounds, so um, excuse my mess, because I'm doing this like at the spur of the moment <laughs> while I have the courage to do it, because I do not like making videos. Anyway, um, I thought I would show you basically how to make this background. Um, just remember, it's not going to look exactly like this, because no two are going to be alike. I just finished making all of these, and you can see none of them look alike. Even the ones with the same color, they don't they don't really look alike because everything's a little bit different. But anyway, um, what you need, what I do when I make just if I'm just going to make one of these, I would have a piece of 140 pound weight uh, watercolor paper cut down to size, and then just a piece of white cardstock. And the reason for that, I do that, is because I'm a very, very conservative person. So I just want to show you, this one is made on watercolor paper. And then what was left on the stamp, I used and cleaned it up with this one. I just don't like to waste the ink, so I can usually get one watercolor card and one just cardstock card out of it and that's just what I do you don't have to do that but that's what I do I always think that the watercolor ones are a little bit more vibrant but that could just be because that's the first one I do on it so anyway um, so that's what we're gonna do and then I will have with me just some things that I'll use to distress up the card like my distress oxide inks you can see those here these are the colors that I've chosen for this card I just have some what I call element type stamps around. This is just some numbers. And this is a word background stamp that I'll use. And the other thing that you'll need is the black soot uh, distress oxide. Also, along with, I use this for splattering. I don't know that that's what everybody uses, but that's what I use. You can see my water is dirty from black soot. And the other thing I keep around are just junk that I save. This is uh, like a bubble wrap that's the tiny bubbles. I like the tiny bubbles on these cards better. And also, oops, sorry, I shook the camera. And also this is, I think was from an onion bag or something. But sometimes I'll ink that up and I'll wet it and stamp with it. So anyway, I think that shows you everything I need to make the background. So Oh, and then the background stamp, which in this case, I'm trying to use some of my older stuff that I have. This is a Stampin' Up! medallion stamp, and it's really great for this um, technique. So um, let me see what I can do on that. Now, my daughter is sitting in here, and she has her music going, and I hear somebody else coming down the stairs. So probably somebody's going to come barging in here in a minute, but that's the life that I have here. We have a crazy household. So anyway, we'll get started. And I'm just gonna ink this this background stamp up with some different stamps. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason. You just put stuff on there where you want it. And this purple one is really pretty. I don't know what color it is. It's, I don't know, I got all my colors. Let's see, that's seedless preserves. And I like to add a little gold if I can. Again, this one is not going to look like the other one. It's not going to look exactly like it. And see, I get messy with my stamps. I really don't care. So here comes somebody now. It's amazing you put 100 in there. Okay, yeah. I got somebody on the thing. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, so sorry, guys. So anyway, then once I have that all inked up, then I'm going to wet it. And I missed it pretty good because I want it to be pretty wet. And I also take the cardstock. This is just a just a mister that I have. And I also wet the cardstock just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do, because I want that stuff to kind of blend in. And I don't, if you look at this card, I don't put it on the entire card. It's off to the side a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it on here like this and rub it. My hands are so dirty with ink, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to just lift it off, and that's what I get. Okay? That's just part of it. That one I probably got just a little bit too wet, but you just 
you don't ever know. So I'm gonna wet the orange side a little bit and go to this side with, this is just the cardstock paper. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna rub it. And then see, it doesn't, it's on, it's not on watercolor paper, so it's not gonna bleed quite the same way, but that's okay, because it still looks really cool, okay? So I'll set this stamp aside. And I really need to let that dry for just a minute. In fact, hold on, I'll just heat it. So one of the other things I do still like to do before I've cleaned this off, I really like to go back and get a little bit more ink on some other parts because if you notice, you can see where I've got it up here. So there's there's still places to put some other ink on. So let's see, I'm gonna turn it upside down and go this way. And see, so I've got a little bit there and I probably need to wet it one more time and do a little bit, let's see, I want the, go like that. Okay, it's not gonna matter, it's gonna, a lot of that's gonna get covered up, but it's just, again, using some of that ink. Okay, so everything that I'm gonna do on this card, I can do on this one, I'm just not gonna do them both. Here, I just wanted to show you mostly how to use up your ink. Let me dry this just a little bit more. Okay, now to add some extra elements to it. Let's go with the bubble wrap first. I'm sorry, I keep banging the camera. And so with the bubble wrap, on this one you'll see I used a pink on there. I think I'm gonna do some of this distressed blue or this uh, speckled egg. It's one of my newer ones and I kinda like it. So I don't know if I went off camera here. I'm just gonna stamp it all over the bubbles here and then I'm gonna wet them because with the Oxide, you need the water to um, activate it, I guess. And then I'm just gonna gently lay it in here in places, not the whole thing. And you see, now I've got a little bit of bubbles on there. And I might just put a tiny bit more up on this corner, okay? Again, I've got to dry it. I do dry things in between just so that the black ink doesn't, um, run all over the place. And then just to show you, the red one is a little different. It comes up with a little different texture and it doesn't work as well. Um, but we'll put a little pink on it. So I just rub a little pink on it, spray it, and then I'm just gonna need to go on here and tap it down. And then again, it doesn't do a whole lot, but every little bit adds a little bit more texture and dimension to your card. That one didn't do it all. Let's try that again. You're not gonna hurt anything because it's all a mishmash of stuff, okay? So I'll set that aside. And then lastly, what I will do is I will get out the Distress Oxide Black Soot, and I'm going to ink up this. I like to make sure what's the top, so the top is here, because sometimes I put them on upside down of what I think should be the top of the card. And again, I'm gonna activate it with some water, and I'm just gonna come in here and just lightly put some words there, and then I'll probably put some down here. Uh, let's see, I'll go on this side. Okay. And then if I wanted to do just another element, I could do this number stamp. This is just one that I have. I'll usually try to stamp it off a little bit. I don't want it to be too, too black. And again, just, um, 
you don't even have to put the whole number on there. Just put a little bit of a number like you've just cut that right off of the page. So that's it. That's really very simple. And, you know, these look good with flowers. They look good with, um, you know, I was thinking about Ginger's seahorse the other day. It was so beautiful. And even it would look great on something like this, um, especially if you had a lot of bubbles on it. But that's all there is to it. So for all of y'all who really wanted to know how to do it, that's how you do it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.